Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well and still staying safe. So today, um, as you will have heard right there, we're playing a PRS. We're playing my PRS, in fact. Um, this has been a long time coming, this sort of episode, if you will. Um, it's been a long time coming because obviously I've had this PRS for a, a while now and I still haven't done a review on it. And I've pretty much featured each one of my guitars now, I think, in its own video. And this is the only one that doesn't have one. So I figured that I would do one. So the guitar, as people will be able to spot, or many of you may know, is a PRS SE. It is an SE standard. I'm just going to unplug that. It's an SE standard 24, so it's got that 24th fret. It comes bound on the neck here and on the body, just single bound. Uh, I believe it's reveal binding, and it is pretty glorious looking, to be honest. Um, the few things I don't like about the looks, um, I don't like zebras. Um, but other than that, it's a fantastic instrument. It is built in, that's in Indonesia. So this is the lowest model PRS you can get and it costs around £475. So it's the entry level for this guitar brand. And if I'm being honest, it's pretty it's pretty damn good. Um, it's got a trim, but I have it blocked off, and there's a sock in the back of here as well, I believe. Just so the springs don't sort of like give that horrible, uh, like jangly, horrible thing that they do if you, uh, if you have them there. Um, it is in and set up for drop C. Obviously PRS's are 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, so not as long as a Fender. So this has got some heavy boy strings on it. It's currently got 12s on it, and I'm looking to move to 11 to 70, um, which I think I'm gonna have to get seven string, uh, a set of seven string strings, and then not use the sixth string to string it and just have this as a 60 sorry I want so I want 11 to 60 because um, it's still quite it's still not where I want it to be but it is still pretty damn good uh, I've got a fret wrap on just because of the high gain nature of what I play in drop C so let's go through some tones real quick of the pickups you'll have heard some intro playing there but I'll just take you through the uh, the tones because I only use the bridge pickup in that intro. So we'll go on to my clean tone and we'll go to the neck first. So it does have split coils, uh, I did forget to say that. Um, but I do have some stuff that I'm going to change on this guitar which we'll get to after I've done the tones. So here we go, clean tone. <laughs> together. split.
position split. <laughs> Okay, so those are clean tones there. Um, I'll do a little bit of, you'll have heard quite a bit of playing at the beginning. I'll just show you the, um, we'll go high gain and I'll show you the tones there. Um, just so, just so you guys know, all of these tones are coming out of my helix on the floor. That's why I'm looking down to make sure to like click patches and all that sort of thing. So all tones you're hearing is the Helix DI'd straight into my interface and recorded back out through my Tascam recorder which is recording my voice and the playing. So PRS riffing tone as I call it. <laughs> So that was the uh, bridge pickup, we'll go to the... Once again, we'll go from the t uh, go from the bridge again. Okay, so there's some tones there. Um, I didn't go through a crunch tone or anything like that because this is literally, uh, you've now heard every patch that I have set up for my PRS. You've heard the clean, you've heard the riffing. And at the beginning, I used the swells patch, which is probably one of my favorite things. I'll go back to that just now for a quick little bit of ambient magic. Let's go for the fuzz once again. So literally, I just, um, it's just a load of reverb and a fuzz pedals in front of two amps with loads of reverb and stuff like and delay. And there we go, it's finally gone off. It's got a lot of reverb on there. I could get a bit lost in that. So, uh, let's do a, a bit of a roundup. You've heard some tones now. Um, 
So, the guitar is pretty, pretty insane to be honest. Um, you know, £475 is uh, an insane price for this guitar. Um, and I obviously I'm going to say it's good because I bought, uh, you know, I, I own it, I use it. So, uh, but there's a few little things that I would change. For me personally, um, not a fan of a lack of neck. However, I've not had any problems with this. Um, the neck profile is lovely. I can get my hand around it for chords. Um, it's not like mega flat. It's not huge, not too chunky. It's quite fast. Um, the fretboard's amazing. You get the birds, which is a huge selling point for me. I love PRS birds. I don't like uh, any. I don't really like PRSs without them on because I feel like this is like the quintessential thing, or at least something that's cool on the fretboard. I feel like that's one of PRS's big things. Um, coil splits, obviously very nice. One volume, one tone, fine. Um, there's a, but there's a few bits that I am gonna change. So I've got some custom pickups on order, um, and they are gonna be coming, I, I'm hoping, pretty soon. I don't know when they're gonna be coming. Uh, but I'm hoping, like you know, next next in the next month, they're going to be ready for me to go down and collect and or have put in the guitar. Because essentially, what I'm having is um, two custom pickups done, and I'm getting a five-way selector switch. So I don't have this problem, this pulling up to get my split coils, because when I'm switching between um, cleans and dirties and all that sort of thing, I don't want to be have to press the button on here and then go, oh, now I need the middle position like this. And it's just gonna give me more options as well with a five-way super switch to have a lot more splitting options and get that, um, get those sort of stratty in-between position sounds, which I absolutely adore. Um, those are like my favorite things to use for clean tones. So I wanna get that from this um, while it still is a total monster. They're going to be super dynamic pickups um, and I'm really excited for them. I'm not going to say too much more than that um, but there will be a video coming when they get done. So overall a fantastic guitar. Um, the reason I'm upgrading the pickups is because I'm playing heavier music. I mean you heard my tones there, they're pretty dark and heavy um, and I just need some pickups to match them. But now I wouldn't, I have to say for me, um, if I hadn't been doing this and doing this sort of, uh, using this for my drop C and using it for heavy music, uh, I don't think I would have changed these pickups because the pickups actually sound pretty great um, for a lot of the pretty versatile pickups. They do everything that humbuckers do and obviously they split down as well making it a really great guitar and to be honest i can't recommend this guitar enough um it's really sturdy you know there's a couple of like i say there's a couple of things you know you could put locking tuners on it even um because for 475 pounds it's an insane it's insanely good guitar for that amount of money and it just sort of you know you can make small upgrades like that and the big thing for me as well is that because it's only, because it's an SE, I'm not as picky about it getting dinged. I, obviously, I'm not saying that I want to ding it and smash it and all that sort of thing. No. I mean that because it's an SE, I don't feel like, oh my God, every time I leave the house, um, oh no, I'm t I have to take my massively expensive PRS. Um, obviously, the top isn't a flamey one like like some of the PRS's are, um, and I'll probably get a, you know, an SE custom at some point or some sort of step up from this. But for now, you know, in this situation, this is it's, it's my number one for drop C, and it writes heavy riffs along with my Chapman baritone. Um, and there's like I say, like I feel like I'm repeating myself a few times. Pickups are changing. I'm probably going to put locking tuners on it, but. Other than that, the guitar is completely stock and I absolutely love it. It's called Ruby. I name all my guitars. Um, this is Ruby. Lovely name for a guitar. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a like, comment, 
like and comment down below would you change anything and what do you think about zebras because I don't like these I'm getting black uh, black pickups or I'm going to get them covered with some like the ones with the the holes in many holes in don't know why I just think that it would look cool with that but I'm going to change the zebras let me know your opinion on those down in the comments below if you do want to see some more content then please do hit that subscribe button thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one